Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another old school video. Let's start this one with a Elite Clue Skull or a Barrows item. Okay, that's neither. Chest number 160 is going to be 1.2 mil. Oh, an item! 1.1! Okay, dude, I... <laughs> that was actually insanely close guess. 1.1 million Barrows chest is actually pretty nuts. Okay, let's see if we can get a back-to-back. -back. Okay, that is <laughs> as far from back-to-back -back as you can get. Alright, fourth chest. Let's see what it's going to be. Runes again. Probably halfway point. I'm going to do 10 chests, I believe. That's going to be two trips in general. But let's see what the fifth chest is going to give us. Okay, the regular loot. Chest number six. Chest number seven. Hey, just randomly hits 84 magic. Didn't even know I was close to it. And chest number eight. Chest number nine. I'm going to do one more after this one. Alright then, last chest for now. Uh, let's get better than 12k in this one. And 11k. That's a yikes. So this episode is going to be a bit different. Most of my progress videos in this series has been Clue Scrolls, Slayer, some questing and overall just uh, progress for the account. But in this one I really want to get this 3.8 clue tab up quite a bit. So I'm actually going to focus only pretty much on clue scrolls in this episode. And that means I'm going to be doing maybe some barrows for elite clue scrolls. I'm going to do some slayer for normal hard and medium ones. And I will get back to you guys with a lot of caskets and then we will have a big opening of them and that is pretty much going to be it for the video. But opening them will take quite some time and I really want to get at least maybe like 30 hard caskets or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show maybe a couple of Slayer clips if I get any interesting loot or if anything interesting happens. Other than that, I will uh, just do the massive clue opening. Something I haven't done actually, and maybe you guys haven't as well, is enabling this uh, fairy ring right here, which is uh, right by a hard clue scroll step. You just have to talk to this guy right here, pay him 80k, and then after some time you can see right here that you can now use the ring. So always do that if you're interested in doing clue scrolls. I have never seen this before. I just spawned two necriarchs at the same time. That is going to be interesting to try to kill at the same time with like no food. I think I can actually barrage them and just kite and not actually take any damage. The Necriarchs themselves don't actually do that much damage. It's just the uh, pets that they spawn, the death spawns, that can hit uh, quite a lot. So yeah, I'm just going to have to try to kite like this and freeze them and uh, I should be good. I wasn't even looking, but I just got 86 Slayer, only one more level, and then I can actually kill Kraken, so that's going to be really nice to get into in the future. This is my first superior Abyssal Demon actually, but it looks pretty similar to the normal one, so it's pretty easy to miss, I guess. And let's have a look what the loot's going to be. Oh, dude, that is really, really bad. Oh, only 11 more Abyssal Demons to go on this task, and I get uh, my second Abyssal Whip ever. It's going to be really good because I need to sell some uh, Slayer loot soon to get Prey Pots. What is this? On only two more drakes on my task left, I got a Dragon's Tooth. It's uh, fairly rare, I think, but only worth 60k, so that kind of sucks. Usually don't record combat stat levels, but I just got 88 attack, and that means I got 111 combat, so one closer to max. So I'm currently at like 24 hard caskets in the bank, I'm going to go for 30 before I quit, and I just got 87 Slayer, which means I can now kill Kraken, so getting those tasks in the future is going to be really great. Not really the best rare drop you can get from these, but Granite Longsword, I mean it's one of the rares these can drop, uh, it's only 70k though, so... Not really that much profit. So we're finally here. Let's look at the bank and go to my clue tab, which is now 3.9 million. But we have 30 hard caskets. So the rest of the video will be me opening these and hopefully I can almost double my clue tab value. It would be pretty nice if we could get to like 8 mil with these 30 caskets, but... Yeah, I don't know. You can get some really valuable items from hard clues. Like, obviously you can get the third age pieces, which are crazy. But just in general, like, you can get some pieces that are, like, 500k, you know, almost 1 mil, and stuff like that. And that would raise the value of the tab quite a lot. But anyways, let's get opening. I have the game chat on, so you can see how much every casket is worth. So, the first one, 57k, 100k. Uh, Lunar Isle Teleport. I don't know if I can use those actually if I haven't done the quest. Ooh, Dual Psy. Oh, it's only 130k. Alright, so it's not that valuable. 
but it's a unique 114k enchanted robes oh armadillo coif 167k so a bit better there a page 100k okay so now i have to uh cut and uh bank all this and sell some stuff and then i'll get back to you guys so i'll just be at the ge now for the rest and when i get a full inventory of stuff i will sell all the items that are not unique and stuff like that into the grand exchange and then turn them into platinum tokens and then keep going so let's keep seeing what the loot is going to be 61k oh this is better samurai page 2 176k 114k armadillo kite shield i don't think i have that by the way oh a master crew scroll but it's 21k, so the value is terrible on that one. 31k. Okay, the value of these is terrible. Okay, Piscatorius teleports. A bit better reward right there. 67k. I have to sell stuff again. Almost halfway through. Let's keep going. Ooh, Samurai Coif. Only 134k though, so not the best. 67k. 38k. Okay, even though I got a page, it's like worth nothing. I guess the Gothic's book is really bad. Cyclops head. That's a unique. It's not worth a lot though, but it's a unique. 98k. 111k. Slowly going up here. 500k. Hey, we got a Saradomin Dehyde body. That's what I like to see. So these are like the items that are really going to, I think in the end, get me to that 100 million uh, clue tab because they are not too rare and they are worth quite a lot. Last 10 caskets, let's hopefully get another like 500k reward, that would be very nice. 64k, uh, 93k, 47k, 94k, okay I already have these, no wait, actually I think I have the armadillo one, so I actually don't have the bandos ones. 55k, ooh, 887k, that is so much value, wonder if it's all in the boots though, I have a feeling that it is. Let's see, how much is the worth uh, of the boots and then the page? Yeah, the page is <laughs> worth nothing. That is a really good one. By the way, that was my number 100 hard clue as well. So that's pretty cool, but we have four more. So let's at least get one of these that are pretty decent. So let's get them opening. Ooh, <laughs> the no wait, that's T and G in the same? Holy shit, what are the odds of that? That's actually crazy. It's not worth a lot, but I've never seen that. That's really, really cool. Oh, 500k, another another of these uh, god dehyde bodies. Really good value. Okay, last one. I'm really happy with this opening, by the way. I thought it was really good loot. And an honorable blessing. I don't have that. But anyways, I'm going to sell all this, and then we will see the total value of those 30 hard clues. So this is how my tab looks now. I need to rearrange this a bit so it looks a bit cleaner. But the current value is 6.3 mil. And I will put all these platinum tokens in right now. And uh, the tab is at 8.1 mil. So that means we more than double the tab. We went from 3.9 to 8.1 mil, which is a crazy amount, uh, almost at that 10 million mark. So we're almost 10% the way there. And the next video I will, well, I will try to do this master clue, but the odds of me actually being able to complete it is very slim. But uh, I will do that in the next video. And the next video will actually be about elite clue scrolls. So hopefully we can get some really good rewards from those elite clue scrolls. And maybe I have to get some requirements for those because I haven't really done many of them. But we will do barrels in the next one and do a bunch of elite clue scrolls hopefully and get some nice barrels loot. If you're wondering, by the way, my Slayer tab is currently at 18 mil. I had to sell an Abyssal Whip to buy some more prayer potions and stuff like that. But the tab is looking pretty neat and hopefully we can get uh, quite a lot of the barrels items in the next video. But hope you guys did enjoy this one. Take care.